Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Bose has recently come out with some new stuff, including an updated version of their sport earbuds called, well, Bose sport earbuds. And while the name lacks some inspiration, the buds themselves are rather exciting and fresh, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the Bose Sport Earbuds have a brand new design which is great as one of my few complaints about the previous version was their size and their design in general. I still wouldn't call these buds small, but they only weigh 6.75 grams each and they don't stick out of your ear as much as before, so that's a step into the right direction. The use of high quality plastic mixed with rubber coating here and there gives the earbuds a premium feel. They are extremely well built and there is the IPX4 rating which guarantees that your earbuds are protected against sweat and splashes. There are three different sized ear tips and fins or wings in the box. The fins are not separate though as it's a one piece design, but I personally found the fit very comfortable and secure. Actually these are one of the most comfortable earbuds to wear for longer periods of time. The oval shaped tips sit in your ears nicely and the fins give you the extra security which is needed when running or exercising. However, the passive noise isolation is not the best and there is no active noise cancelling either as this feature is only available on the new QuietComfort model which costs 80 euro or dollars more. But I don't mind the lack of ANC that much and even though the passive noise isolation could be better, it has no effect on the actual sound quality at all and what a sound quality that is but more about that in a minute. Moving on to the case, it's big and heavy, but regardless of its size, it feels and looks premium and the lid is locked in securely and only opens if you press the button on the front. But if you expect an outstanding battery life from such a huge case, you are going to be a little bit disappointed. The bots can run for only about 5 hours with one charge and the case can charge them fully another 2 times and even though the 15 hours of total battery life should be enough to cover 1 week worth of training for most of us, the 5 hours battery life with one charge is not gonna cut it if you want to use it all day long for work. And then there is the fact that the competition offers more battery life for the same or even less money. So the huge case does not make that much sense to me, but at least there are 5 LEDs on the front which can warn you if the battery is about to die, so you can make use of the USB-C port on the back. And you have to use a cable for charging because there is no wireless charging, as again, it's only available in the more expensive QuietComfort model. But the good news is that 15 minutes of quick charging gives you 2 hours of use, which is a lot more than the usual 60 to 75 minutes. Next up is connection. The Bose Sport Earbuds use Bluetooth version 5.1. There is no multipoint support, so the bots can connect to one device only at the same time, but that connection is generally strong and stable. Pairing is easy too, thanks to the dedicated pairing button inside the case. There are no problems and sync issues with watching videos or gaming. When making a phone call with the buds, you can hear quite some noise and the voices sound a bit glassy, it's like you are wearing a spacesuit. Not that I ever worn one, but that's what it feels like. Since you have a microphone on the right earbud only, you cannot use the left earbud on its own for phone calls, and strangely enough, the same applies to music listening as well, so there is no single bud mode. Well, there is sort of, but only the right earbud can be used on its own. And something similar can be said about the controls. Even though you can control the earbuds through the touch sensitive interface on each bud, out of the box you can use the controls on the right earbud only. And there you have controls for play pause, phone calls and activating the voice assistant. But you have to go into the Bose Music app to enable the shortcut feature on the left earbud, which can either skip tracks or give you a battery status update. Nothing else, no customization of any kind. No volume controls either, which could have been added to the list easily in my opinion. And I believe Bose could have done a much better job if they wanted to. What I mean by that is that they could have added more options or functions to these buttons. It's not the most sophisticated control solution I have ever seen as it is, but at least it works well. The buttons register touches well and react quickly. There were no mistouches or accidental touches either. Inside the smartphone app there is not much you can do other than software updates and switch the automatic in-ear detection on and off. But again, it only works with your right earbud as the left earbud has no proximity sensor in it. So only if you take out the right earbud will the music stop if you have that feature enabled in the app. 
There is one feature though I usually love to have and I complain about it a lot when it's missing and it's the custom EQ. Well, the Bose app doesn't offer such feature, but in this case I don't miss it at all and the reason for that is that the Bose Sport earbuds have an absolute world class sound straight out of the box which requires no tweaking whatsoever. It was obvious the first time I put the buds in and hit play that I was in for a treat. For one there is the bass which is snappy and dynamic and it's not only powerful but it has texture and layers too. You can hear every nuance in the low frequencies which is very rare in this category. And then come the sweet mids which are full of life and joy. Vocals are an absolute pleasure to listen to, both female and male. And what about the highs? Well, I don't think I ever heard as much detail from any other true wireless bud ever before. And the highs are not only detailed but they have this airy quality to them that I miss from most earphones. And even though they deliver loads of spark they never cross the line and get harsh. And the icing on the sound cake is this vast three-dimensional sound stage. It's developed in every direction not just left and right but forward and back and up and down too. It feels like you are being transported into the middle of the action, it's quite an exhilarating experience. It's almost holographic and the instruments and effects are very precisely positioned in the space in and around your head. I usually don't even try to listen to symphonic music on such earbuds because it's always disappointing, but not with these guys. They can handle the sheer volume and dynamics of an orchestra pretty well, especially considering their size. So the sound of the Bose Sport earbuds is simply awesome. It bites where it has to, it kicks when it needs to and it sings when it is required to. So hats off to Bose, they created something truly special this time. As you could see, the new Bose Sport earphones are way better in most areas than their previous version and also they are way ahead of the competition in some others. Their sound quality is the new reference in their class. I know it's more of a matter of personal taste but they are my new reference anyway. Their comfort, fit and build quality are also outstanding but they could learn a few tricks from the competition when it comes to battery life, controls or connection. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, but there is no such thing as perfect earbuds. If you look for something with the best sound and comfort, then look no further as the Bose buds are hard to beat. But if you want active noise cancellation or longer battery life, maybe a smaller case, then you might want to look at other earbuds. And there are loads of great true wireless sport earphones out there such as Jaybird, Sony, Jabra or Clips just to name a few and I happen to be working on a big comparison video in which I will show you all the best options you have on the market right now so stay tuned for that. But that's it for now, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find more info and some useful links in the description and I would love to hear your opinion as well so feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.